What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today Apple released iOS 26 Beta 6 to register developers and soon to public beta testers. Now along with this release, Apple also dropped the sixth beta for iPad OS 26, Watch OS 26, Mac OS 26 Tahoe, tvOS 26 and HomePod version 26, along with visionOS 26 beta 6. But of course, like always in this video, we are talking all about iOS 26 beta 6 and everything new in the software. So taking a look at the size of this update, once again, we have a mega size here, 10.56 gigabytes on my iPhone 16 Pro Max. We've had a very large size the past few betas, and you can see that is what it is for this latest build. Now if we go ahead and check out the build number for beta 6, if we head into our settings here, the new build is 23A5318. C. So we do have a C at the end of the build number. We are quickly approaching the A at the end. So if we go down here to the bottom, you can see that we do also have an update to the modem firmware. It's 2.04.06. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 26 beta 6? And the first thing you'll notice before you even get to your home screen of your device, because there's a brand new onboarding sequence, a new onboarding kind of display here of all the new features in iOS 26. And they've also added one for the liquid glass design. So you can see it shows all the new features and this is the first time we've seen liquid glass as a you know screen an onboarding screen at the very beginning and this indicates that the UI framework for liquid glass is most likely complete or at least near complete for the initial 26.0 build. Now here's something big in this update. We now have seven new ringtones in beta six. So we have multiple reflection variations or remixes, if you will, of the reflection ringtone, which we've had, but there are now six different variations. And then we do also have one original ringtone down here called Little Bird. So I'm gonna let you guys hear a brief preview of these because uh, Dreamer is one of my favorite ringtones I've heard from Apple, maybe ever. So let's go ahead and play a couple of these. You guys let me know in a comment down below which is your favorite. My favorite is gonna be Dreamer, for sure. If we head over to the lock screen, you can see that now with iOS 26 beta six, we have liquid glass for the clock. So before, it was more of just like a gradient. I don't know, it wasn't really fully liquid glass, but you can see that now, with this latest beta, it is definitely more glass-like than it was before. You can really see it when you look at the three right here when you're on the shadow wallpaper. Now here's something that you might have noticed right once you installed iOS 26 beta 6, but you couldn't really put your finger on what has changed. And that is that the animations when opening and closing an application are now different. They're not only quicker, so animations, like when you open up an application and go out of it, the animations are not quicker than they were in previous betas, which is nice to see, but also the animation itself is different. It's more like iPad OS 26. We've had an iPad OS 26 for a while. So you can just see the difference visually right there, but I did slow this down in a screen recording I'll show you. So when we're opening up an application, take a look at this. You can see that it pops up from the middle on beta six, whereas on beta five on the left, it comes in kind of from the left. So it's also much quicker. Like look at me going in slow-mo here. It's already on the full screen and it's getting there a little bit slower in beta five. So that's where you can see the speed even making a difference as well and then when you close the application again you can see the subtle difference in the animation when going to close that application and it also you know goes back to the home screen quicker you can see I'm still doing that animation 
on beta 5. So you can see the speed and the difference in animations right there, especially when it's slowed down. Again, you will notice this right away on beta 6, but it may be hard to kind of put into words and comprehend how it's different than beta 5. So hopefully that helped a little bit. And there's also a little bit more bounce in the settings application now as well. So with beta 5, we got, you know, the more bouncy animations like in the control center and places like that. But now in the uh, settings application, it's a little bit more prominent. It was a little bit more subtle in beta 5. Now it's more prominent. The screen moves, it jiggles a little bit more than it did in beta 5 in settings. Beta 6 also enhances liquid glass even more. So you can see beta 5 on the left, beta 6 on the right. So at first glance, it looks like it's more frosted than before. But take a look at the background. There's more dispersion now. There's more of those colorful reflections that we're used to seeing like from the keynote. So especially when you go over, you can kind of see that it is a little bit enhanced. You can see more colors in the back end. It's also more readable now, I feel like. So, you know, I, I wouldn't really call this frosted glass in beta six, but it is definitely a little bit lighter than it was in beta five. But again, at the same time, look at the colors in the background. So I think liquid glass also looks better here in beta six than it did in beta five, which beta five also looked much better than beta four. So we're on, you know, an upward trajectory right here, which is always good to see with especially something new like a design. And speaking of liquid glass enhancements, we also have some nice enhancements to the toggles in the settings application. So if we head into our settings, we'll just go into camera right here on both and we go down to composition. Before, when you turned a toggle on and off, you could just see you have that slight little animation where it just, you know, turns on or off and that's it. Well, now in beta six, you can see that we have the liquid glass design each time you tap on that toggle and it's really subtle and it works really well. So I thought this would be kind of clunky and, you know, not look the best in these little toggles right here, you know, it's such a small area, but it actually works really well and it looks really good and it makes you feel like you're using liquid glass even when you're not on the home screen where you can't see like all the elements. And speaking of liquid glass, we also have that liquid glass UI for the battery widget on the home screen so you can see on the left it's how it looked in iOS 18 but now it's finally been updated here in iOS 26 to match the liquid glass design let's head back into the camera settings because we have another change here and this one is interesting because if you guys remember in beta 5 we had a brand new toggle for switching the scroll direction so basically if you turn this on it would reverse the scroll direction of mode switching in the camera application which if you don't know what I'm talking about it's basically when you scroll through these different modes right here you could change the order of that because Apple by default changed it from what it always was so they gave us the opportunity to change it back to the classic style with this new toggle however with this latest beta with beta 6 it has been removed and now the camera switching is back to how it's always been all along since iOS 18 and all the other versions so if you were somebody who complained about that toggle being added it is gone which by the way should not be too surprising if you watched my apple weekly episode on saturday because i mentioned in that video that this very well could just be a beta toggle and it will not be in the final release and now we're seeing it get removed meaning that it probably will not end up in the final build so with beta 5 we got multiple new splash screens and now with beta 6 we have an additional splash screen for the photos application so it shows updated navigation more customization for collections and explore spatial scenes so all those features have been available this is just a new splash screen showing us what's new if we head into our phone settings we have a couple of changes here so mainly just word changes so you can see that now instead of detect call waiting it now says hold assist detection so it's more clear what that toggle actually does now I never liked how it said that before so now it's more clear that that's how you turn on hold assist and then if you go down even further down here to call filtering before it said silence spam callers now Apple has reduced that to just say spam it's easier to understand and then also unknown callers is just unknown callers not move to unknown callers so Apple added a lot of unnecessary words in there that kind of made this whole section confusing so Apple has simplified this quite a bit now which I like now taking a look at the release notes we have not a lot that's changed from beta 5 but we do have three bug fixes I want to mention along with one new bug that you might encounter with this update so first off you can see that we have a fix for 
for this bug right here where it says some applications might quit unexpectedly when using search. Apple has also addressed the web apps bug. So they've now fixed the add to screen flow. And there's also a fix for this one. Users with alphanumeric passcodes might be presented with a passcode entry screen that accepts a single digit preventing correct entry. So those are some great bug fixes to have, but we do also have one new bug with beta six and it's related to messages. So it says messages fail to translate when only the recipient has translation enabled. And there is a workaround where both participants must enable translation. Now let's go ahead and talk about the performance and the battery life with beta six. And I have to say that beta six, and I hate saying this back to back because you really never see major performance improvements going from one beta to another, especially on a 0.0 release. But man, the beta six feels better in terms of performance. Like it might just be because apps are opening quicker now than ever. Like the way apps open up now, the way they open up and close is just much quicker than what we saw in beta five and previous builds, which it's going to make you feel like it's faster. So even if it is placebo with just like the animations, it feels faster. Okay. So performance feels better. At least my initial impressions of beta six is that performance does feel better. Now I did run a Geekbench test. I'm not going to harp on this too long, but 3402, 8390, to on the scores, you can see how that compares right there to the previous runs. So again, that doesn't tell the whole story, but just the animations and the feel overall of beta six, it's solid. It's solid. I, I don't think it's you know quite as good as iOS 18 yet. It's still a beta, of course, but we're, we're getting pretty close. Now, as far as the battery life goes, it's a bit too early to say if battery life has improved just yet. And I wouldn't say that overall raw performance is like crazy, like much better than beta five. It's really just the animations I feel like that make it feel faster. So may not have a big impact on actual day-to-day -day battery life. So I'll let you guys know how that fares out after this week. I will use this on my main device all week and I will report back in that Apple weekly episode on Saturday. All right, so now let's talk about what to expect next from Apple. So just like we predicted the past couple of weeks, we are now on a weekly release schedule, at least for the next couple of beta. So with that in mind, I would expect to see iOS 26 beta seven next week on the week of August 18th. And then we should see beta eight on the final week of August. Now, after we see beta eight, we could very well go two weeks until we see the RC. So that's typically what Apple does. So if we do have an Apple event on the week of September 8th, that's when I would expect to see the RC. So that give us about a two week gap between beta eight and the RC. And if we do see the event on the week of September 8th, that means that we should see the final official release most likely on September 15th. But of course, those dates are just simply predictions. We do not have official confirmation from Apple just yet but we should be getting that pretty soon. Apple does announce that ahead of time. So that is iOS 26 beta six. I think the main story, the main takeaway from this beta is that not only do we have faster animations now with every application, they open and close faster than they have before. We do also have a change to liquid glass. Liquid glass has a nice improvement with this update. And we also have a bunch of new ringtones, which are awesome. So overall, a pretty solid update for a sixth beta. You don't really expect a ton of changes by beta six, but we are still getting some heavy hitter updates here in beta six. So I would expect the new features, especially and changes to kind of slow down from here. I would expect beta seven and beta eight to mostly, you know, improve on performance and battery life. Probably not going to see a ton of changes in those updates, at least not until the RC build, which of course is going to be the public build just for developers and public beta testers. So keep it locked to the channel for that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Also make sure you are subscribed if you're not already that way you get all these ios 26 updates right away right when i drop the video but anyways guys thanks for watching and i'll see you soon